ان الحمد لله نعمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله لا نبي بعده فيا عباد الله اوصيكم واياي بتقوى الله عز وجل كما قال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله ولتنذر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله واتقوا الله ان الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فانساهم انفسهم اولئك هم الفاسقون لا يستوي اصحاب النار واصحاب الجنه اصحاب الجنه هم الفائزون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ارزقنا الاخلاص في القول والعمل امين يا رب العالمين الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر ولله الحمد we begin in praising allah and thanks to allah for all this blessing all the ni'mah he has given us we can't count the blessing from allah quran say wa in ta'uddu ni'matallah la tuhsuha we won't be able to count the blessing from allah until this day alhamdulillah i also like to make dua for all of us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah during the beginning month of dhul hijjah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our salah accept our recitation of the quran accept our sacrifice and also for all hajj around the world may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them hajj mabrur so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also allow us to go there next year amin ya rabbal alamin every single one of us changing after this words in life without any exception so whatever circumstances you have in life this word is dream for every one of us what is it this word is success we all want success right if we recall once again when we come here to america to this country in our mind when we come here you want to be success Now is it wrong to have that uh, intention? Of course not. Absolutely not because Islam is religion of success. Our deen or way of life is a success. Quran mentioned many times about success from the beginning till the end. Even call a prayer. What is that when they call? Hayya 'alal salah. Let's come to prayer. Let's come to success, right? So, so also we are the people of success. You know, in Surah Al Fatihah, after Surah Al Fatihah, it's a uh, continue with Surah Al Baqarah, right? It says, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim, alif lam mim." Dalika al-kitab la ruiba fi hudan lil muttaqin and continue with the criteria of muttaqin and continue also with ulaika ala hudan mir rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun so if we follow dalika dalika al-kitab la ruiba fi hudan lil muttaqin we gonna end with muflihun we're going to have success if we follow quran we are in the right guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we were in the right guidance of allah we will become muflihun we become success al quran also wants the believers to be successful qad aflaha mu'minun in arabic if you find qad followed by fi'il fi'il Madi means past tense. It means no doubt, surely, certainly, 
mukmin are successful. In Surah Al-Hajj, ayat 77. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu rka'u wa sjudu wa abudu rabbakum wa fa'alul Wafalul khaira la'allakum tuflihun. Oh, you who believe, bow, rukur, and prostrate. Worship your Lord and do good that you might become succeed. In a question, now come with a question. How to be successful in this life? For most people, to be successful is when we have a big house, right? When we have family, cars, lots of money, wife or husband, children, etc. Even own a business, right? I'm sure everyone has their own answer. And the answer is, will shape the way you conduct your life. If the definition of success is money, wealthy, for sure, you will run after it. If the definition of success is popularity, you will be do anything to achieve it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran has given us has given us a definite and infinite answer to that. So how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala define to be success? Allah says in the Quran, this sentence and end of it is the key to the successful. It is Kullu nafsin da'iqatul maud. There are three ayah remind us about maud, about death. Every soul shall taste dead. Wa innama tuwaffawna ujurakum yawmal qiyamah. So you will be rewarded fully in the day of qiyamah, in the day of judgment. So the question, the question is, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about success by mentioning about the death? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want us to, to remind us that the real success is after death. This dunya, this worldly life is place for us to obtain, to achieve our real success in the next. Because unfortunately, brother and sister, most of us when working for dunya, we are sahun, we are heedless. Sometimes we forget for akhirah. Kullu nafsin maut. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ You'll be given your reward fully in the day of judgment. So what does it mean by that? What does it mean? Because dunya is not fulfilling. Dunya cannot fulfill no matter how struggle we are. How struggle, for example, working two shift. And seven days a week working, always on call. Wake up early, go home, come home late at night. We are running after dunya, we are earning, but cannot fulfill our dream. That's why in the akhirah, we will get that fulfillment. وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And then Allah says, فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُذْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازِ That is what Allah promised us, the definition of success, that Allah has set for us to every single one of us, no matter the circumstances of life right now, rich, poor, powerful, weak, Everyone will be successful when Allah save us from hellfire and then enter us into Jannah, paradise. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us among those people who will enter Jannah, Amin ya Rabbal Alameen, and save from hellfire. So brothers and sisters, 
why Allah make us safe first from hellfire and enter Jannah. Because if we calculate our shortcoming, our sin, we committed a lot of sin, many sins. We have to be honest to ourselves. Possibly, we won't be able to enter Jannah, most likely. Like uh, Islam is perfect, but Muslims are not. That's why we commit sin left and right. Our amal, our ibadah, so little. That's why none of us will enter Jannah except for Allah's mercy. Allah Rahmah, the one that's going to bring us to Jannah. Sahaba asked him, asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Hatta anta ya Rasulullah, even you ya Rasulullah, yes, even me. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as we know, that he's granted Jannah. And he will be the one, the first one who entered Jannah. Because of Allah's mercy. Allah made him as a prophet. Because of his mercy. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim ajma'in. So to get mercy from Allah is required humble. My brothers and sisters, inshallah, the more we do sincere ibadah, the more we become humble ourselves and we will be easy to attain mercy from Allah. I mean, Ya Rabbal Alameen. There is another question, how? Now how to be successful? Number one, we make niyyah, we make intention. Most of us, we make our niyyah only for ritual, only for salah, fasting, hajj, etc. But most important things, we put our niyyah, our intention in every aspect of our life to be considered the one who success now what is the intention of our life activities? The answer to that question is from the Quran. What Quran say? As we all know, Allah does not create jinn kind and mankind except to worship Allah. So, we put our intention in our daily life to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like for example, we go shopping, we go grocery, we're working daily, we will be entrepreneur, we, uh, we become a businessman, we are a doctor or a housewife, uh, be as a student, etc. with niya to worship Allah, the intention to worship Allah. The real purpose of life is to worship Allah. So make everything else just means to get to Allah, way to get to Allah. For example, when we are eating, we say Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. We are sleeping Bismika, Allahumma amutu wa ahya, etc. With other activity, we do dua to get connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So without intention. Our life for Allah is not going to be successful. It's not counted as ibadah. It's not counted as a good deed. Number two, important of istiqamah is to be consistent. Like for example, in Ramadan, our iman is raised up. Our spirit, our worship is high. But sometimes after Ramadan, it's decreasing. Islam wants us to be mustaqim, meaning also istiqamah, be consistent. We say 17 times in a day, in our daily life, in Al-Fatiha, at least 17 times. Ihdina siratul mustaqim. Ya Allah, give us consistency in the path of Allah. Consistency following Guidance from Allah. If we, went, if we want to die in the path of Allah, we also 
we have to live in the path of Allah also. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please with us. We have to live in the path of Allah. Example of you know, consistency. When we work, for example, we're not consistent working. In a week, we only work a couple of days, and the next day we don't work. What happened? You might get far. You're not going to get a paycheck, right? It's inconsistency. Like when you go to the gym also, you want to go a certain level of your body, but if you go inconsistently, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. So shaitan always playing trick with us when it comes to ibadah. He comes in our salah, in our situation of the Quran, in our daily life. Unless the one who has sincere heart, the one who has mukhlasin, the one who ikhlas. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us steadfastness, steadfastness, consistency, consistency in doing ibadah. What's Allah command? And stay away from prohibition. Amin ya Rabbal Alameen. Aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullaha li wa lakum. Innahu huwa al-ghafurur rahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah alladhi hadana li hada. وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله لا نبي بعده. Let's make dua, brother and sister. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant all of us successful life in dunya as well as in the akhirah. Amin ya Rabbal alamin. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين رب اغفر لي ولوالدي وارحمهم كما ربونا الصغار ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا ودرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك قريب مجيب الدعوات اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرض المسلمين اللهم ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين واغفر لنا ولأبوينا وارحمهم كما ربونا صغارا اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وعدل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءك أعداء الدين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يشفون سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يشفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقيم الصلاة